Hey guys, it's John here, and I'm going to be doing my top five Mac applications. And um, I've been kind of going around YouTube trying to find some of other people's top applications, and I've compiled my own list of my favorite five. So with number five is going to be ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is what I am using right now to record this desktop that you see right now and it's what's recording my voice and all that fun stuff so um, ScreenFlow also lets you edit your videos from within their program so you don't need to use iMovie necessarily even though I still do use iMovie and um, it's a really nice program I do not remember how much it costs, but I do know that it's not free. I think it might even be up around eighty dollars. But um, that is my number five app. So um, moving on to number four is a program called Phone View. Here's the icon for Phone View. Don't ask me why this is a side column. I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. Um, what phone view essentially lets you do is plug in your iPhone and take everything you want from your iPhone such as contacts, notes, call logs, SMS's, music you can see all your music you can even play it from in here like I can just pick a song in the night, I hear them talk and there you go it's playing and um, TV I don't have any video on my iPhone right now, I got some ringtones, camera stuff, photos, all your photos. It's really useful if you accidentally delete something on your Mac that's on your iPhone and you want to move it over. It's really simple, all you have to do is drag it and drop it and it's right there. At number two is Skype. Skype is free. Um, I believe actually phone view was nineteen ninety nine. I'll put all the prices and all of the all the links to where you can find the apps in the description to the right. Um, yeah, so back to Skype. Skype is free. Um, basically, what Skype does is it allows you to text people, not text people on their mobile phones, but over the computer if, if the other person's running Skype. And um, you can even call them. I really only use this to talk to Seth Smith because he's a fan of Skype, and um, he runs. He's the he's the Mac Wizard on YouTube. Check him out. He's also um, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's also the Mac Wizard on Twitter, and he has a website called the MacWizard.tv, and also App Your Mac. And I'm a writer for App Your Mac. Sorry, that was my Twitter. Get rid of those. Um, I'm a writer for App Your Mac, so I guess I'll shameless plug. Go over to Mac, App Your Mac if you want some some cool app reviews. So yeah, you can you can text people and um, chat with them if they have Skype, or you can call them. I'm not gonna call him because it's 4:44 in Ireland where he's at. So um, in the morning, by the way. So yeah, that's pretty much Skype. Moving on to number two is a program called Pixelmator. Pixelmator is like a really easy to use version of Photoshop. And it's not as expensive and it's a lot cleaner and a lot simpler. So when you open up Pixelmator, you get this screen here and you can select to create your images or whatever. Create a new image, image and um, you can select your size and um, sorry everything's moving over here and you can um, you know use text tools and say follow me on Twitter it's not coming up. I'll decrease the font we'll say I'll say follow me on Twitter. Um, 
twitter.com slash jcosta. Man. So it's the same as the link in the description. Um, that's that. You can, of course, add layers and, and uh, do all sorts of cool stuff. Like, um, you can, let's just say, you can take the select tool and move this down. And then, actually, I am going to delete these layers. I'm going to add some new text and just say, John is awesome. And then I will go back to the selecting tool and drag this down with the option key. Let me select my layer. There we go. Make this a raster size layer. And then I'll say transform, flip vertical. I'll move this around right there-ish. Oops. Um, where is it? And it keeps copying. I'll delete this layer. I don't know why it keeps copying. And then I'll come over here to the gradient tool, and, and it will let me do that. But you can see what I was going for. Um, really easy to use. Really simple. It's not quite as powerful as Firefox. Sorry. It's not quite as powerful as as Photoshop, excuse me. But um, it, it does the basic things that you want it to do. I um, I created this this um, image here over at my, for my other blog, the creative one TV. It's not my blog, but I write for... Um, for David DeFranco over at the Creative One TV, I created, I created that this background here with this program, and um, so it's really easy to use. It's um, again, I don't remember how much it costs, but I'll put that in the description block. So um, enough of that. Now, my number one application is Tweety for Mac. It just came out a few few weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks ago, it's nineteen ninety nine. It's um, made by a company called 8-Bits. I love their iPhone program. Their um, their Mac program is in its early stages. It's it's out of beta, but it's um, it still has a few missing features. But in my opinion, it's still better than any other Twitter program for desktop Mac climate clients, excuse me. It does not run on Adobe Air, which is awesome in my opinion, because because it's native to Mac OS X, which makes it faster and cleaner and more, I guess, Mac-like. Um, and you can you utilize the menu bar up here, which is actually on my other monitor. That's why you don't see a dock or a menu bar. Um, you can usually utilize the menu bar. You don't have to go into the app for the settings which is I like better there's multiple account settings you get growl support all that good stuff um I really like it um you might not like it but this is my number one app because I use Twitter all the time I use Twitter more than YouTube follow me at twitter.com slash jcostman it's the exact same as what it is in the in the username up there and um, so yeah those are my top five Twitter I'm sorry top five Mac applications um, that's that's all I've got for you guys today be sure to check out more of my videos as they start appearing on YouTube and um, if you like what you see you uh, you can go ahead and, and subscribe I mean it's not gonna kill you or anything. I'm not going to be one of those people that says, you know, subscribe and puts links everywhere like like this and and really pisses you off. But um yeah, if I mean, if you like if you like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and uh I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey guys, what's up? Um I don't know how much time I have left due to YouTube's restrictions, so I'm going to talk really fast. This is this is what screen flow looks like. And um, basically you have this scrubber here, and here's your screen recording, and you can see it goes, and this is what the screen looks like, and I'm talking, and blah, blah, blah. And you've got your audio down here, and you got your video here. And uh, you can scrubber, and whatnot, and then um, you can do all that. This is this wave here is for the um, for the audio that was playing uh, Heartless. You can hear it. There's that. And um, you can come up here, and you can select mouse bubbles and whatnot. So that you, it zooms in on your mouse and you can add music and, and all that and that stuff. So um, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to add this video. It's going to be on the tail end of that last part. 
and um so thanks for watching and i will see you later